into the tissues here. Okay, this is my boogers, all right? What do you think it is? What is success? That is the question that uh, is the topic of this today's video. What is success? I think success is some something related to fiscal, something financial. I think success is when you reach a certain point of making money, where you no longer need to worry about making money, which is quite ironic. You make money not to worry about money, but that's the way it goes, right? You make money, so you don't have to worry about money. You get into shape, so you don't have to worry about the way you look. And you get better mental health, so you can function better and be more productive and be more happier in general in life. I think success is having all three of those tenets ticked. I think success is... Hello? Get out of here, man. Yeah, I don't want you near me anyway. I think success is something more than money. I think success is tied into money. You, without money, you can't really have success, especially in this modern day. You're not going to swim across um, the Atlantic Ocean to get to the USA, aren't you? If you're, from, if you're going from UK to USA. You're not going to swim over there. You're going to die, most likely. And it's going oh, to take a very, very fucking long time. Or you're gonna get like a boat or something, and you're gonna go from the shore to thing. That's stupid. You're not gonna do that, all right? You're gonna pay for a ticket on a plane because one, it's convenient; two, it's safe. You're paying for the convenience and the safety. So you need a some level, some level of money. I think that's the f freedom amount. Is I think ten thousand pounds a month is like special. Like that's one hundred twenty thousand a year, twelve months, right? That's a special amount to reach. Very special amount to reach. That's 120k a year. That's complete and utter actualized. And complete and, uh, that's complete, that's freedom. Uh, but it's not complete and utter actualized freedom. I think complete and utter, utter actualized freedom is like 50k a month. And that seems like a fucking intense amount, doesn't it? It seems like a intense amount. Oh, Jimmy, why are you aiming that high? Jimmy, da, 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 da. Jimmy, I think that's too high of an amount to make. It's not. Trust me, it's not. Six hundred k a year is a significant amount of money. It's almost a million. But that money is still in the tangible realm. You're making a lot of money, fifty grand a year, a month. People make that a year. You make it in a month, in thirty days. In thirty days, it's equivalent to that three hundred sixty-five. It's it's a, it's a it's a hefty amount, but it's all relative to the life that you're living. I think fifty k a month is. Honestly, should be the bare minimum for most men out there wanting to live lives um, that are actually worth anything. It is not difficult to get the top 10 percent men, which is a, it just, it, I don't know. It's like a lie and a truth because it is difficult to get the top 10 percent men, but it's not. It's kind of like it, after that it gets cutthroat. I don't know. The majority of men are very, very fucking lazy and fat, and ugly and broke. It's very weird. Of course they, of course they get no bitches. Of course women don't like them. Uh, anyways, I think success is fulfilling all three of the holy tenets of success. And that's fitness, family, and freedom. I think in, in, in that complete order. Um, family's on top. Uh, you have to have like a family situation. Everyone in your family, it's whether your mother, your father, maybe your wife, you've got kids. You have to be sorted with everyone. A lot of kids are not present when the kid. Uh, a lot of parents are not present when their kids' lives. It leads to strained parental relationships which leads to fuck situations <sighs> fitness i think being in shape is immensely immensely important if you're not in shape you kind of reach a weird point where you're just foggy in your brain and you can't really think and you're eating shit food and you kind of like sh feel shitty afterwards you feel lethargic it's difficult to get work done your brain is just not working at 100 percent capability obviously your brain can't work 100 percent capability it works like 10 percent or 20 percent at a time and use 10 percent 20 percent of different parts of your brain right um but still like you're when you're when you're eating these brain dead foods you actually become brain dead wow interesting sentiment thanks jimmy <laughs> uh, freedom as in fiscal financial freedom like I described before being able to do whatever you want whenever you want however you want and no one can boss you the fuck around no one can tell you shit you can, you can go to the nice, nicest five star hotel with a beautiful girl or if you're a woman I don't know if you're a woman 
you know, financially rich, you probably should find a guy who's richer than you. I mean, most women that are financially like, rich, they do try to date upwards, which is fine, in my opinion. That's the game, right? How are you going to live life? Like, people shame Goldings a lot, but Golding, you shouldn't look purely at their money. Like, you shouldn't date an old guy just because he's rich. I mean, maybe as a sugar daddy, but like, don't give him the fucking, don't give him the box. <laughs> Look him in the box, because what the fuck is he going to do anyway? His, his dick barely works. Um, I think that dating someone purely based on their financial status is stupid, but dating someone that has their money together, has their life together, is fit, in shape, and is relatively young as well, I think that's a good choice to make. So... Oh, how many videos have I done? Oh, fuck, that's a video I did. Yeah, um, fuck, I love tiny bit of money. I think I oh, it's, it's a unique property a place because if I had money, I would just provide. I'd be a provider. If I had money, I'd just provide, provide, provide. I would retire my mum. I would go go on more dates. Right now, I'm going on like zero dates, one or two dates a month, most. And it's like a fucking brokey date. I hate it. So I, I, I keep pretty sure I'm going like zero, zero to one date a month. Amazing. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. It's stupid, it's shitty, I don't like it at all. It's quite... Honestly... I'm thinking about the thoughts, anything I should say next. I think I've completed this video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Sui.